good morning from somewhere a little bit different today. Where are we? We're at Meadow Hall in Sheffield. And why are we at Meadow Hall in Sheffield? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't tell me. Well, Mummy knows. For the shops. Which shops in particular? Shops that we can't get in Nottingham. Yeah. Like, we don't have a Lego store, so That's we're off to yeah. Lloyd. That's why I brought Lloyd. We're off to the Lego store and also... But specifically, Bath and yeah, Works. we're here for a little American fell. Sheffield has now got a Bath and Body Works. So that's why we're here. We can't normally get them here. We've been <laughs> getting them through Next for a little while, yeah. but that's changed now. So we're going to take you with us. It's a wet and rainy day here in, in the UK. So we're going to do some indoor... Undercover. Undercover things yeah. today. So, the right. thing about Bath and Body Works before we go in is... Um, it originated out of Ohio, which is where my family is from in America. So I was back far back as the not 80s, a meme, not I've a been meme. buying stuff from Bath and Body That's Works. And then we have to wait till we go on holiday to America and stock up and buy tons of stuff. Then next start doing it and now there's a shop, so I'm super excited. So yep, yeah, we're gonna head there, we'll take you with us. There might be a couple of other shops we head into and we can take you with us. But yeah, join us as we get some American fill. Here we are inside. Yep, we're here. <laughs> Sam yeah. is bored already. Yes. Do really, you like the one in America? So. That's true. It's way different here. It right. is. Water, but we're hoping but to find some bargains still and some good some stuff. Fun. Ah, little baby ones. This is more like America where they're all laid out by fragrance. love this one. My sweet pea is a favourite too. I love that. I had that for the, the sweet pea for the first time in America. It's beautiful. Having fun, Sam? Yeah. <laughs> Hiding. In the dirt. Okay. Just in case. Alrighty. We've got our basket full of goodies there. Just going to see what the damage is. Yeah. <laughs> so here are some prices. They've got a good offer on three for two on body care which just saved us about 16 quid still spent a fortune did we that yeah oh well i've never actually smelt smelt this one gingham it does look good Like they'll wrap it up for you. Some old favourite, and this one too. I do very much like. Hello. <laughs> I do very much like that feature there, where there's a little sink, so you can actually try the soaps. So I think we've had a look at all the deals, haven't we? Yeah. So we're going to have a look in Costa and see about a cup of coffee. Yeah. I like this range, the aromatherapy range. It smells good. We've got eucalyptus spearmint, lavender vanilla. I had a pillow mist of this one before. It's lovely. Oh, cinnamon and sandalwood. So yeah, great offers and deals on. Were you very bored? Yes. I wasn't, I bought a couple of bits. So, yeah, so we're happy, aren't we? So that was our first trip to <laughs> Bath and Body Works in Sheffield Meadow Hall. Bigger than we thought from the yeah. other side. It's, it comes yeah. back, there's where we came, it comes all the way back and over here. 
Church. So I love the way that it's kitted out in Gingham. Uh, now it's time for coffee. So what have you got? Mm. <laughs> it's handy that this is right outside the Bath and Body Works. Got a gigantic <laughs> Americano for a night to share. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you stopping? Fresh base. Lentil chips, caramel waffles, and I've also got a yeast biscuit. So you're happy now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Not bored anymore. Yeah, but which is best? So you've got Slytherin, show off Gryffindor. Oi! Ravenclaw, yay! You are show off. Gryffindor. Oh, look up at the ceiling, buddy. Alive Dobbies. That's the place for those dead ones. <laughs> I like those though, 3D. Lenticular. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Purple! Oh, yeah, it's got purple! I found purple! Where did Daddy go? Come this way then. Oh, pop that back. So we've just discovered what really is an independent like marketplace. Uh, you will have seen a couple of Harry Potter shops, well, a Harry Potter shop, and then the outside of a, a little geeky shop. So we're going to carry on going, um, and then we're going to go to the Lego store, I think, next, which will probably conclude our day. Where are we, bud? Where are we, buddy? Mm, Legoland. <laughs> Legoland. Legoland. We, we wish we were at Legoland. Yeah, Lego store, I mean. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm very close. Is that the Lego bit? Paul is eyeing this up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cute. There's also that. More up houses down there. That is what I would like. That's very cute, isn't it? It's got the new indie releases. It's got Oddworld. Yeah. It's got Oddworld. Mickey, no, I can get that. Uh, it's not the regular Mickey, it is the original um, Steamboat Steam. Willie Mickey. Yeah. Steamboat, Steamboat Mickey. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the one you just saw there was what I mean. Steamboat Mickey. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Do you like that, Sammy? That's no. That's just come out. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to do. Look at the ninja, I'll go. <laughs> Sanctum. Golden Jade. More of the Mario stuff. Yeah. There's the F1 car I was telling you about the other week. Oh, okay. This is the penguin that you always have to eat off a mountain. <laughs> So we're using the prick and, pick and build. Sam's building. What are you building, buddy? I'm trying to build a giant Sonic, so I'm okay. getting the materials for the shoes at the moment. Okay. Do the shoes. So that's the first bit. That's so we've got shoes. a whole bucket. Can still fit more in there. Got to try and fit it in that top bit. No, there you go. That's good to show because I see. Yeah. Amateur mistake. What else? There we go. <laughs> See, we've been taking tips from other other vloggers, haven't we? And Auntie Zoe. Yeah, she has a whole load of Lego too. Yeah. We play with it so there we go. That's the first bit for now. Yeah. So we're back. This is about two weeks past 
It's a while after we were yeah. at Meadow Hall. Yeah, we honestly we have other videos that have come out since. So we've just taken our time coming to to do this, not any other reason. Um so we're just gonna do our haul that we bought at Bath and Body Works. As a, as our outro to yeah. the Meadow Hall thing, yeah. yeah. So let's preface by saying um the prices are more than you'll pay in America. So yeah. for an example, uh, if you go in Bath and Body Works over in the States, I think you can get something like five antibacks for four dollars. In there, there'll be a multitude of yeah, different Yeah, there's loads of deals. deals. And next do have deals, but instead of like four antibacks, five dollars, I think it was five for fifteen pounds. So yeah, it, it isn't cheap. It wasn't cheap, and then it was no. three body products for what was that twenty twenty six or something? Yeah, I think the oh, receipt might be in the back. Got a receipt. Yes, we have a receipt. So. <laughs> Here's the bag. So all the, the branding is exactly the same. The gingham, which we love. Exactly the same stuff. So it's yeah. all been chipped in. It doesn't say anything on the bags as to whether it's it's the been printed here. right in the but, bottom. So let's uh, have a look here. Let's have a look. I can actually smell the candles that we bought. Yeah. Because um, actually the lid's come off of it. We That's find why. that um, these days, the candles from Bath and Body Works pack more of a punch, last longer, and fragrance the house better than Yankee candles. That actually isn't the receipt from Bath and Body Works. Oh, it's fabulous. from somewhere else. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it was it was twenty odd. We'll have to wing it. Yeah. Um, I think there'll be prices on them. So, do you want us? Yeah. Pull out. Shall the... we uh, start with the candles? Yeah. So, this is one that we already had. Um, so. You can see the Paris Cafe. Um, yeah, just coffee smells. Yeah, it's a three wick candle. Um, oh God, yeah, it's, uh, what does it say on it? Uh, it doesn't give you a description, but online at Next, it was sort of saying, uh, perfect cafe smell, a combination of coffee, brioche, whipped cream and everything. And it's a really cozy scent. The overwhelming it's smell on the is coffee. Oh, okay. Note, rich roasted coffee, uh, sugared brioche, vanilla cream notes. Well, it's not a bad memory recall, is it, of what I'd read online. Um, so that is absolutely beautiful. We've got one up on the shelf. There's about that much left in the bottom, so we really wanted to get another one. So yeah. I think they are like um, 30 quid each, 29.95 or something like that. But if you go online at Next, they often do a deal. I think it's two for about 35, 39 pounds, something like that. They didn't have that deal in the store at Meadow Hall, unfortunately. No, I think the, the deals are, are ever-changing, I think, because they are fairly new. That, yeah. that They haven't quite got into, like, a lot of deals. It's yeah. like there was literally the two deals we got. Yeah. Um, Or three, because we bought the... No, it was only two, wasn't it? The antibacks the and antibacks the and bath the, and body products. Yeah. Um, but the next candle was your choice, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so this is a new one. It's a smaller one. Um, it's only one wick. So it's a single wick candle. Um, and I went, this is actually, a, again, it's it's the White Barn products. Um, so you can say it's strawberry pound cake. So that's pretty self-explanatory to what it smells like. That They actually haven't got prices okay. on them. With. That's useful, isn't it? Sorry, badly researched. Eh, yeah, there's a pound sign and then it's empty. <laughs> but let's have a... What I like about this is it doesn't smell like fake strawberry. No. I know that sounds a strange thing to say, but you get the baked yeah. cooking smell with it as well. Yeah, so it is pretty much what it says on the tin. <laughs> uh, it does say, actually, it's got... It smells fresh strawberries, golden shortcake and whipped cream. And it's lovely, it really is nice. So they were the two candles we bought. Let me just get that lid back on. Should have had two more then, we'd have had four candles. Oh God help me. Um, so then what did we do next? Uh, let's let's do the deals we got. So it's not that. So the body stuff. Is yeah. it all in there? I think so. The other one was your bubble bath. Ah, yes. So I'd seen this online, a new fragrance called Dream Bright, and I wanted to try it just to see, 
because I didn't want to order it offline and it not be my thing. So I had a good smell of it in the shop and it is, it's really, really lovely. It's kind of a little bit floral, a little bit citrus, a bit sweet, but it's nice. It's just nice and light and, and lovely. So here we've got the shower gel and then a bubble bath, which the boys will use that too. And then what did you and get? And then mine, you could say, I've already used quite a bit of it. You've had a bath every Pretty day. Pretty much every day since we bought that. For two um, weeks and a tiny bit goes a long way. So this is it's called Simply Unwind, uh, Simple Moment, Sandalwood and Vanilla Body Wash and Foam Bath. And I've absolutely loved this. A little bit goes a long way. As I said, it's it's two weeks, more than two weeks now. Yeah, and you've used that every day. Two weeks yesterday and I've used that every day and you can say... And you get a ton of bubbles and the yeah. bathroom smells amazing yeah. after you've used that. It's really so, nice. Yeah, and Sam, despite the fact that he's not here, he's he's off <laughs> somewhere else. This isn't really his thing. Um, he used some of the, the bubble bath as well. Already? Um, yeah, just one lot. Okay. Um, yeah, he that's chose really it. Nice. It was literally only a couple of days after we bought yeah. it. Um, so, yeah, and then for us, the next thing... We love these. The soaps. We love their foaming soaps. So this time we've got crisp morning air, which is what I chose, didn't I, I think? Yeah, and I went with mahogany teakwood because in the Sheffield Hall branch, they've actually got a basin with loads of soaps at the side. So you can wash your hands and have a smell and see what you like. And I use this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. So much so that I think that's one of my anti back scents as well. Yeah. And when we were in LA in October, I bought one of the soap holders and it's like an autumn one with owls and leaves on it yep. and it's lovely. And when it's empty, nothing else fits because the size and the shape of these bottles are very specific. So I always like to keep some of those stocked up yep. in the cupboard. And so the last thing, as we've mentioned, we got the, it was five, you said five for 15, didn't you? Is that you? really all that's in that bag? Yeah, that's all that's left. Um, so here's four of them because there's one added thing for the other one. So we've got Market Peach, which I think you chose and I did. So I think there's two of those. Yeah. So yeah, there's... Oh yeah, that's nice. nice no, there back. isn't. <clears throat> unless he took one of those. No. Is this little holder there? Cause yeah, he had it that is. Ah, okay. um, so we've got also Mahogany Coconut. So the same as the soap. As Lisa just said. That's mahogany teakwood. Ah, so it is slightly different. Ah, um, I thought I'd picked up we've the got teakwood. strawberry kiwi. And champagne toast. Now, as I said, that is only four. Um, that's because Sam chose one, but he also wanted a little holder. So he picked eucalyptus spearmint. And he's got a little holder which is really, really funny because he had the choice of a plain green one or a black one or a blue one. No, he wanted a sparkly gold one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a whiff. That smells nice. Now that little lot, so five antibacks, two bubble baths, a shower gel and two soaps, that was over a hundred pounds. Yeah, it came to about, I think it was about 120 pounds altogether. Yeah. And it's like, it does seem an extravagance and it is a lot of money. Well, I when you think. compare it to paying for a flight to get to America. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not so bad. I think the thing is, we justify it this way. In a time when people are struggling and just don't have excess cash of things, that is a lot of money to spend on some bath and body products and stuff like that. But we aren't the kind of people that go out to the pub drinking we don't smoke we don't order takeouts and all stuff like that which is uh, what a lot we, of people do to like enjoy their comforts, weekends yeah comforts of home. yeah we like our little we're, tastes of america that we're remind a, us a small little family that will spend the day out somewhere and then we come home and just yeah. enjoy the warmth of our house so that for us and, and i think we have to give a shout out to the the people that inspire us with this we can't do the receipt so I'm sorry, Luke and Rich at L and R Dreaming. We haven't really, got the receipt. Really gutted about yeah, that. What's that's that? our receipt from Costa. Oh, so yeah, okay. <laughs> so the receipt may be, in fact, let me just check. It might be in my wallet. Because he does, so it, it does hoard things a little uh, bit. I don't think it is in here. No, no, it's not. Twenty dollar, uh, five dollar note, but no receipt. It must be in a trouser pocket somewhere. 
Um, but but they do have deals online and you don't have to spend a fortune. And in the past, literally, when we've had no spare cash and we've had a tight month, our treat is I'll buy a bottle of soap. Oh, and that might sound lame. Yeah, it might sound lame, but little things make us happy. Yeah. Just filling the house with a certain scent or, you know, something that reminds us of being in America because... It is important to us, isn't it? It's like, yeah. I've been going since 1985 because I have family there. My grandpa was American. And some of my earliest memories are of being in St. Mary's in Ohio. And I believe this company was founded in Ohio. I think that's where their flagship store and headquarters are, if I'm not mistaken. But even even and, for me, it's only it's 17 years since my first US trip. So it's... It, it's it's a long-standing yeah. thing. It's not. Paul's used to trips with me where we buy a ton of stuff, sell it, take the lids, and we're cramming it into socks and in in pockets, trying to bring it all home. We've never had a burst or opened up bottle or anything yet, so no. we've done alright. In right. fact, it was my own stuff that I brought with me that late this time. It was my contact lens solution that, <laughs> that burst in my bag. Um, but yeah, certain scents. I can remember we did LA honeymoon. Yeah. And we went to the Grove and it borders onto the food market doesn't it yeah the farmer's market the farmer's market sorry and the bath and body works is actually in the farmer's market and i can remember the scents that i bought then all i have to do is get one of those body mists do that and i'm like i'm back on honeymoon and unfortunately and if you are watching this bath and body works they discontinued my favorite one from when we first started going uh lime verbena if you need to bring you need to bring that back ah you mean the vanilla lime yeah yeah yeah, well, that is one of my favourites. Um, and the other one is cucumber melon. Sometimes they come back. They do call them classics and, you know, you asked, but we, it's, it's we did, been, and they bring them it's back. It's been nearly a decade now yeah. since my one was Mango there. mandarin was another one. Yeah. Um, and there was another one the year after we went back to LA for Halloween. Endless weekend or endless summer and... I go back the next year to get it and I'm like, and I go to the counter and I go, where's this? And they'll go, oh no, we don't have that anymore. But this smells similar and it's like, I just buy anything to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So I think that wraps up our Meadow Hall Bath and Body Works trip. Yep. Hope you enjoyed it. Obviously there wasn't just Bath and Body Works. There was some geeky stuff in there, some Harry Potter. Because um, we are geeks yeah. as well, essentially. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember as always to like, uh, comment and subscribe it helps us greatly um the next two videos are already done we've already filmed them so we've got another two videos for the next two weeks all in the bag already so and we've got loads of that sorry yeah. to interrupt loads of exciting stuff coming up um especially more towards the end of the year where we're yeah. off on holiday we're doing some really unique fantastic amazing things so we would love to be able to share that with everybody yeah. and obviously with the summer coming up there'll be lots of opportunities for for videos, theme parks, fairs, days out, days out, using yes, in our general. English heritage again. Yeah. We are planning a Stonehenge trip yeah. in the summer. We've never been, so it'll be the first time yeah. for all of us, which would be fantastic. So, and we'll take you with us. Yeah, definitely. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.